We Love Bu High is a um, total ripoff of We Love ATL. So if you're here, <laughs> if you're here for a talk on ethics, um, you might want to rethink that. <clears throat> so how do you um, get to the heart of a place? How do you um, take a place that has a pre-existing trajectory um, and narrative? <clears throat> Excuse me, and how do you uh, disrupt that? Should you disrupt that? Why is the road to hell paved with good intentions? And, um, excuse me, <clears throat> should we even bother? And to be honest, I don't think I actually cared that much for Buford Highway when this all started, which um, was, according to my Instagram feed, about 53 weeks ago. <laughs> uh, and, I actually just started it to kind of expand the conversation um, beyond what was negative about Buford Highway. Um, it's dangerous, it's dirty, it's underdeveloped, and really um, talk um, about what's positive and the diversity and the um, food, of course, and use those as entry points. Um, so I'm gonna try to answer the questions I just asked by not answering them, and by by talking a little bit about what this is not about for me. So, this is not about sidewalks and bus stops. Sorry, Simon, um, it's not about the bus stops. This is not about schools. Sorry, Rebecca, um, it's not about the state of our schools for me. This is not about affordable housing or my um, pathetic attempt at tactical urbanism. Um, this is not about stereotypes and it's not about how I can show this, how I can show this slide, but you can't. <laughs> and this is not about planning or improving Buford Highway. And it's not about comprehensive immigration reform. <laughs> and unfortunately, because I know you all are here for this, this is not about <clears throat> where to get the best bon me on Buford Highway. Sorry, you're just gonna have to eat your way through it. This for me is about something a lot more fundamental. Um, but as you can tell, Buford Highway is very fascinating um, for so many different reasons, like the ones that I just showed you, um, to a lot of very thoughtful, very caring, very smart, um, and very um, cool people, which obviously includes all of you. Um, Buford Highway basically encompasses everything that anyone in this city is talking about these days. Um, whether it's cities, whether it's transportation and infrastructure, equity, social justice, immigration, um, um, demographics, politics, um, food, you name it. Um, it's all there on Buford Highway. Um, and me, I actually did want to know about the missing sidewalks. Um, but. You know, all these things that I've mentioned, um, and you know, I've, I've struggled with this for a long time, for those, every, every one of those 53 weeks I've been thinking about all those things. And I've come to the conclusion that there is no problem that I can solve, um, you know, especially not on my own. So my starting point has always been to focus on the joy of Buford Highway, um, to, to focus on exploration and curiosity and discovery and fun, um, because that's me. Um, you know, I, um, I ask all the questions that, that I'm afraid, you know, I don't know whether I should ask these questions, but that's me because I have no filter and I'm probably the most politically incorrect person you'll ever meet. So, um, I, um, I'm just trying to dig, dig a little bit deeper um, and, um, really get to the truth of the place, um, which is really hard on a, in a place like Beaufort Highway, um, and get to the truth of who I am and what my place in the world is, and also 
um, you know, how to leave a committed life behind. Um, and I think that applies to each one of us um, in whatever work that we do, um, except that y'all are probably more politically correct than I am. Um, and also, um, it applies to a place like Buford Highway, which I don't, I don't know if the concept of political, correct, political correctness exists on Buford Highway, um, but so yeah, so it's about the people. This is about us. This is about how all of us, um, unless we're Native American, are from somewhere else. Um, this is about how Beaufort Highway, which starts where Atlanta stops, um, it exists on the geographical, cultural, and social margins of Atlanta, um, how this is actually an intrinsic part of Atlanta and, um, and part of the larger fabric of what this country is. So I think Beaufort Highway speaks to this country and to its founding principles as a land of immigrants and um, a land of opportunity. And I think it also speaks to Atlanta um, in, all, in its history and in um, its overweening ambition to be a world-class city. Um, this is about an Atlanta that was burnt to the ground, rebuilt, being reinvented through immigrant investment and ingenuity. This is about an Atlanta that is the birthplace of the civil rights movement being, uh, living up to those ideals. This is about an Atlanta that's the purveyor and ambassador of the um, Atlanta way um, of racial reconciliation, um, um, political compromise, and above all, economic growth, and how that is expanding to include people and entrepreneurs of all races and all ethnicities. And it's about an Atlanta as the cultural capital of the New South, um, really embracing, promoting, celebrating all ethnicities and all cultures, all cuisines. So this is, to me, it's about Atlanta at its self-proclaimed best. Um, <clears throat> And um, regardless how you feel about all those labels, I think we all recognize that we all benefit from a thriving Buford Highway, that when Buford Highway thrives, we all thrive. And that, um, you know, we can all, this is about having a Buford Highway and, and, and appreciating Buford Highway as a laboratory um, and as a model for how multiculturalism and diversity can look and work, especially as America, especially as Atlanta is becoming browner. Um, so if you've been, um, so this is about our stories and this is about how all of our stories are becoming a part of our story. Um, and if you've been following my Instagram account and this man, he, um, this is Mr. Cam Vong. He's uh, Chinese Vietnamese, and he came from um, Vietnam. Um, he was in a Malaysian refugee camp for a few years, and he came here um, with ten dollars in his pocket, the clothes on his back, and a nylon bag. And he, um, his airfare here was sponsored by American Catholic Charities. Um, he, um, it took him two years um, as a busboy. Um, living in the, do in, in the common area of a dorm room at Georgia Tech to pay that back. And this is, you know, stories like these are very personal to me because my father, um, when he came to the United States, um, he waited tables at a Chinese restaurant. And my grandfather, um, you know, he was, a, he was a head physician of a hospital in Taiwan, and when he came, he um, worked at a Campbell soup plant for the rest of his life. And, you know, regardless... Um, of where we came from, these stories, you know, we all have similar stories in our family tree. Um, some, somewhere in our family tree that there is a story like this. And on Buford Highway, these stories are a little more recent, they're a little more immediate, and they're a little more vital to the sense of, um, to our sense of who we are. Um, I don't know if Myra's here, but, um, she came from Mexico when she was nine years old. She grew up mostly in this sprawling apartment complex on Buford Highway. Um, and if you know anything about this complex, Park Town North, it is always, um, it's always being fined um, for code violations. It's constantly the subject of rezoning and redevelopment efforts. Um, and then you meet someone like Myra who can tell you, who can show you where the holes in the fences are between apartment complexes. Um, she can tell you, she can introduce you to the property manager who's been there for ages. And she can tell you that in the summer months um, after the rainstorms, the parking lot in Parktown North fills up and floods. 
And the kids use it as a swimming pool because the swimming pool that was actually there has been filled in. Um, it was filled in a long time ago. So for some people, once you move away from Buford Highway, uh, you never look back. But there's other people, there's another side of the story too, and that is that Buford Highway is a place that people are proud to say they're from um, and that they're very proud to call home. This woman is the editor of the World Journal, which is a Chinese daily newspaper. And when she arrived in um, Atlanta in 1980, there was no Chinese name for Buford Highway. And so she named it Bai Fu Da Dao, which roughly means Boulevard of 100 Blessings. So there's poetry on Buford Highway. Um, and if we're going to talk about renaming Buford Highway, I think we should call it Boulevard of 100 Blessings. Um, one of the coolest things that about We Love Bu Buhai is that um, I'm always randomly meeting new people and seeing things in a new way. This is John Robinson, he works at Videodrome, and it was really interesting how we met because I approached Videodrome about doing a foreign film festival on Buford Highway, like showing a Chinese movie in a Chinese restaurant. And um, he, um, they were like, yeah, that sounds great, have you met John? Um, because John invented, uh, he didn't invent Buford Highway, sorry. He started, <laughs> he, he, he created uh, We Love, uh, no, no, not, sorry, I'm getting all, of, all these mixed up. He started BufordHighway.com like 15 years ago um, because he's interested in many of the same things that I'm interested in. Um, and he's the one who told me that Canton House used to be a Denny's. Um, so they put an addition on this Denny's. And yeah, like it's practically staring you in the face, right? Um, but I, I never saw that until he, he actually showed it to me. Um, so I used to be one of those people who like, if you go to a Chinese restaurant and there's anyone but Chinese people in there, you're like, oh wait, no way, I'm not going in there. Um, <laughs> But like, if you can put, if you can make Pizza Hut into a Canton house, then why can't you put cream cheese into a wonton wrapper fry and call it Crab Rangoon, right? I mean, right? Like, like why is anything only authentic if it's not in English? Um, like, so I've come to realize and appreciate that authenticity um, and identity are not absolutes but they're on exist, they're, they exist on a spectrum on Buford Highway and anywhere. And speaking of authenticity, um, Buford Highway is a place where a Korean can own a taco place. And it's not like a Korean taco place, this is like a real taco place. Um, and so I think, I think this place used to be a Blimpies. Um, and so this is the owner of La Pastorcita. Um, and this is his daughter, Grace. Um, he's owned this restaurant for about 20 years. And he, um, his employees are mostly Mexican and Honduran. So they've learned to communicate somehow in this mix of Korean and Spanish and English and grunting and head nodding, and, which is amazing. I mean, if Mr. Choi and his employees and his clientele can um, figure it out, then so can we. Um, so. Um, I show you these pictures to illustrate that the American dream is alive and well. <laughs> um, in, on Buford Highway, in the spaces like, in the liminal spaces, the spaces in between, um, they illustrate the power in giving your hopes and dreams a name, um, in creating something that wasn't there before, um, in renaming, reinventing and retrofitting so that um, you make something that was someone else's your own. This is about making America your own. Um, this is about making a, something American, even more American, if that makes sense. Um, and I think that there is a lesson for all of us in this, and that is culturally appropriate away. Just kidding, um, that's not it. Um, um, I think the lesson is that we can all do this. Uh, we can all take a hands-on approach to making your neighborhood a better place. That's great, right? I mean, this is Buford Highway. So um, we can all realize what our own strengths are. Um, sometimes these may be the gifts that we don't initially think are gifts. Uh, maybe it's what's left when we've tried everything else. Um, and, but maybe that's who we really are. Um, and we can use that to connect. Uh, we connect with ourselves first than with the others around us, and finally within the community that wherever we find ourselves to be. 
we can use food as a gateway drug for civic engagement. And that's what I, that's what I try to do on Beaufort Highway. I always try to start with the food, with something that everyone can identify with, because um, you just shove it in your mouth. Um, and then hopefully build on the conversation from there. Um, so I say, don't let fear get in the way of asking all the questions. Uh, when we're not sure what's going on exactly, um, ask. Because um, you might, you never know what you're going to find out. This woman, she was on the, an empty lot next to Asian Square, which, if you don't know, Asian Square is where Sweet Hut is, because all things, all directions begin with, with Sweet Hut on, on Beaufort <laughs> Highway. Um, and so she was in this lot. She was picking leaves off um, this plant, this massive plant that was growing on the wall and into the, onto the ground, as you can see and putting them in her plastic garbage bag. And I, eventually I found out that you know, this weed is apparently edible um, and harvestable, and I thought that was really cool. Um, um, so it doesn't matter whether we're immigrants or not. Um, we're all afraid of looking stupid at times, all afraid of sounding stupid, um, being met with a blank stare, um, you know, not being understood. Um, this is universal. It's not just common to immigrants. Um, so I have to tread a little carefully. Um, I, I say ask all the questions even if you're not sure you should ask them, even if you're not sure you might offend someone. I, this, is, you know, this is very sensitive. Um, as a minority and as a woman, you know, I can tell you microaggressions are absolutely real. Um, obviously racism is real. Um, <clears throat> but diverse, so diversity is very, very, very difficult. Um, but, but I think that superficial attempts at diversity nominal attempts at diversity, um, those may be even harder in the long run. So um, in a sense, we have to commit to asking all the questions, um, even if it takes a combination of Korean, English, Spanish, grunting, um, head nodding, um, commit, commit to that. Um, experiment. <laughs> Figure out what works for you. Um, See if the dress fits. I think this is, I don't know, I just think it's fun. Um, collaborate with strangers. Um, collaborate with anyone, especially as a social entrepreneur, um, especially as someone who's just starting out. Collaborate with anyone who will give you the time of day. Um, because they might just become some of your biggest supporters and some of your big, uh, closest friends. Um, Do all the things you never thought you would do, because why not? Um, if you have a vision, you, you have to be the first one to test it out, to see if it's got legs. Um, if you want a bike lane on Beaufort Highway, and I'm not saying Beaufort Highway needs bike lanes, but, um, but go bike Beaufort Highway. I mean, if people are screaming at you to get off the road. Um, and then get other people to bike Beaufort Highway with you. Uh, make it fun. So everything I do, I try to make it fun um, and enjoyable to really convey the sense of wonder and awe that I personally feel when I'm on Buford Highway um, because I think fun and joy are generative. I think when you um, create joy, you, um, creating joy creates more of the same. And if I, if I share one of my 100 blessings with you and each of you shares one of yours with someone else, um, you can do the math. Um, I can't because the last math class I took was in high school. Um, so I'm sure this has been said many times before, but sometimes it seems like the city that's too busy to hate is also too busy to appreciate. Um, we should take the time to see people in places that we think we know in a new way. Uh, maybe that's walking, biking, or taking the bus. Um, we should take the time to see how Atlanta is really changing, and we should be open to being asked the same repeated questions, um, to be open to the gut checks. I believe, I may be overly optimistic, but I think that every excursion to Beaufort Highway, every top 10 list about the best cheap eats on Beaufort Highway, I think that these are actually part of something deeper. Um, I think that it's a search for novelty, for variety, um, for surprise, for authenticity, um, even if it's messy, because it's what makes us feel alive. Um, these excursions, even if they feel like small inconsequential things, they're not. I think it's really about celebrating what is possible rather than focusing on what isn't. So what's been, always been special about Atlanta is that um, we have all the power to name our own destiny. Uh, we, each one of us does as Atlantans, as creatives. 
um, as people who care deeply about this city, who are always thinking about ways to make it better. Um, let's ask all the questions and share all our stories one by one, because this is about the future of Atlanta. Um, this is about who we are and who we choose to be. So Buford Highway has always been my refuge. It's my playground. Um, it's my food court. It's my community, and it is yours too. So may you find 100 blessings on Buford Highway. Thank you. We're going to do a quick Q&A now uh, with Marion. So if you have any questions, raise your hand. She'll call on you. I'll run the mic to you. Ask the question in the mic so everyone can hear it and the video picks it up. Are you going to translate for me? Yeah. Okay. I'll try. <laughs> Hi, Marion. Um, so in regards to asking all the questions, yeah. um, as a white majority person, yeah. um, I want to ask all the questions I do, but I want to know how do I do that in a way that is not offensive? How can I do that in a way that is, um, you know, in a way that is uh, culturally acceptable without trying to be fake or creating what you called, um, you know, like minor attempts at diversity or inauthentic attempts? Um, my email address is marion at weloveviewhigh.com. Um, I, that's a really, really tough question. You know, it's one I struggle with a lot. I, I think there's this really funny video. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but it's about this woman. She's jogging, and like this white male comes up to her and is like, "Where are you from?" And she's, you know, this is something that, <laughs> this is something that comes up, and I and I reference it really briefly about asking the questions, and I say, find someone, get to know someone, just get to know someone, just be with someone. And if you show up consistently, you know, and if you act in a consistent way, you can begin to ask the questions. I think it's about building that relationship and that trust, um, being in that sense of safety, in that place of safety with someone. Um, and, and, and you go from there, you start from that. You start with talking by, by talking to one person and then by talking to another person. And it's hard, like I said, you know, diversity is hard, it's tough, but it's cool. Come get coffee with me anytime. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and all, also, just ask. I, I, like, like on, when I'm on Beaver Highway and I'm meeting random people, you know, that I, complete strangers, I always ask with, where are you from? <laughs> so, I, 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 yeah, it is, it's hard. Yeah. There's always a moment where people fall in love when was the moment that you fell in love with Buford Highway? Sorry, can you repeat that? What you, what? There is always a moment when people fall in love. When was the moment uh, that you fell in love with Buford Highway? I honestly want to say it was somewhere in that 53 weeks. Um, I'm very ironic, um, very cynical, um, and I think it was, you know, We Love You High almost started off as kind of like my ironic take on, hey, look at these crappy sidewalks that go nowhere. Um, so somewhere in the middle of all that, it's an ongoing process. Um, the more you learn, I think the more, and the more stories you know, I think that's where it starts changing. I mean, like for, for me falling in love with the city of Atlanta actually didn't come until I had children. And I was walking around Atlanta, you know, spending a lot of time around Atlanta with my kids, whereas before I was always in a very, you know, con confined, geographically confined space. But the more you get to know it, the more you spend time there and you get to know people, that's when you start falling in love with a place. Any more questions? Oh, yeah. Um, your slide uh, with the uh, Korean owner of the Mexican taqueria yeah. is, reminds me about the importance of sharing our diversity. Could you tell us a little bit about the lessons observed or some of your insights about how to facilitate or better grow those inner, inner ethnic relationships to make the best of things? 
<laughs> How to make the best of it, or? Um, like I said, you know, with the first question, I just think it comes from building relationships one at a time, um, building that sense of trust. Um, I hate to admit it, but in college, I, I uh, you know, my group of friends was very limited. And you really have to get out of your comfort zone. You, you, that's, it, it's hard, uh, but that's what it takes um, to facilitate those sort of inner in inter-ethnic um, conversations and relationships, you, that's all on you. You, you have to do that. You, you have to take the responsibility for doing that. Um, it's funny because, you know, on Buford Highway, people um, lump you into either Asian or Latino. And within that, you know, there's no, there's no one way to be Asian. There's no one way to be Latino. And so there's a lot of also intra-ethnic relationships that are just as hard, maybe harder to navigate than inter-ethnic um, because you feel like you should have something more in common, maybe. But um, it, it's, it's, a hard, it's a hard road to navigate, but I encourage you to do it because it makes, makes things that much more meaningful. Terry. Terry, do you want to talk about historic preservation on Buford Highway? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, invite us to a few things that are coming up on Buford Highway. The, what? I, invite us to a few things that are coming up on, on Buford Highway. Like? Like what's happening on Buford in the next few months. Like planning or? Like what we should go do. Oh. I thought we were not supposed to sell eat, from the stage. <laughs> well, you eat. Eating, biking, movies. So, um, me and Marta Army were working on a bus crawl of Buford Highway. Um, me and Civil Bikes, so the woman that um, I, I talked about collaborating with total strangers who become good friends, um, we're working on a bike ride, another bike ride, April 2nd for Buford Highway. And um, tonight I'm showing a movie in an Indian restaurant on Buford Highway. So, yeah. I thought you meant, like, planning and... There's, there's tons of that happening, too, and I think one, one of the things that I was hoping for with We Love Buhai is also to get immigrant communities more involved in, in shaping their own future. So, yeah. Let's do one more question. Okay. You call on someone. Who? Hi. Um, I'm one of the unethical people that snuck in today, so... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, so in the 53 weeks that you've been following, um, what's your outlook on Buford Highway? What, what do you feel the direction they're going? Do you think the planning, all these planning meetings and studios, and <laughs> is it helping? Um, I don't, that's a great question. Um, I'm sort of, you know, experimenting as I go. I'm um, trying to figure out actually how to monetize anything, you know, how, how to make this sustainable for myself. And I don't know if this is sustainable. Maybe I just pass it along to someone else, like, you know, my friend John passed along, is passing along BufordHighway.com to me. Um, or um, I can find, figure out, you know, there's, there's different ways that I think that that would work. Um, I think, like, a business association would be, um, might work, I think. Um, community Improvement District is something that's possible, um, and I'm just, I'm just trying to figure it out, too, as I go. But wonderful, wonderful question. That's what keeps me up at night. <laughs> All right, let's give Marion a round of applause. <laughs> <laughs>